Oh man, I'm even worse today than I was yesterday. No, I did not forget about the flip cam this time. Instead, I forgot about everything else. Oh, first, okay, so I brought in the uh, garbage um, bin and the recycling bin. All right, so I did, I did that at least. And um, I remembered to bring my flip cam this time. What did I forget to bring? Forgot. First, it was my iPod. Turn off my car, run back inside to get my iPod, come back out, turn the car back on. Realized I forgot my Bluetooth as well. Turn car off, run back inside, grab Bluetooth, run back out, turn car on. And then, what did I forget? My watch. So, I did not turn the car off this time. I just I went and grabbed my spare key. Ran back inside, grabbed my watch, come back out. Hey, and I left even later than I did yesterday. Great. I think. Yeah, probably. It is now 12.0, 12 12.15. Uh, according to this clock. Awesome. Hooray for forgetfulness. And you know, I'm not going to blame this on old age, because... <laughs> no. I do not have the right to say that. Uh, I blame this on... Me. Being late. And rushing. Yeah. Rushing will do that to you. In such a rush, I didn't even have time for a shower to this morning. Awesome. Anyway, talk to you guys after work. Alright, just got out of work and it is still raining. Ooh, okay, so it's a rainy day. Awesome. Anyway, work wasn't all too bad today. I had plenty to do. Um, that shit was kind of fun. I'm getting to play around with Photoshop all day. So, um, yeah. But uh, while I'm uh, doing my work today, I came to the, um, a realization. I hold other graphic designers to much higher standards. How I know this? I was actually nitpicking on uh, all the uh, details that uh, someone else overlooked on their project. So, um... Yeah. I wonder if um, uh, other graphic designers um, uh, do this, or is it just me? Actually, or, um, uh, for any craft, for that matter, you know, do uh, other graphic designers uh, hold each other to a much higher standard? Do uh, other cinematographers hold each other to a much higher standard, you know? Because, I mean, the thing that was really getting to me uh, was the fact that, um, like, these are nutritional fact uh, cards that I am uh, editing. And uh, they kept all the facts exactly the same for every uh, item. I mean, and while the uh, title graphic designer implies that you mostly work with the visuals, like I said, I hold them to a much higher standard. And, uh, and in doing so, I expect them to have their facts correct as well. Yeah. So that's gonna be something I have to correct before uh, we print them out. And um, yeah. Oh, what am I gonna do when I get home? I have no idea. Hmm. 
it's a garbage and uh, recycling were yesterday, so I don't have to do those today. Cleaned out Guinness's cages. Folded the laundry. I guess I could do that for loco uh, experiment again. This time with a different flavor. Hopefully one that actually tastes good. Unlike that gross uh, fruit punch flavor that I had last time. Yeah, for local fruit punch, horrible flavor. Let's see how uh, lemonade is. Maybe. Alright, I'm home. And before I do anything else tonight, let's get today's useless facts out of the way. And today's useless facts are going to be on the ukulele. The word ukulele is a rough translation of the Hawaiian word for jumping flea. Wait. Something about that doesn't seem right. Don't... Do they mean... The ukulele, roughly translated, is Hawaiian for jumping flea? I think that's what the author, the edit, author, editor, that, I think that's what they meant in this sentence, in this fact. The word ukulele, roughly translated, is Hawaiian for the jumping, for jumping flea. I'm pretty sure that's what she meant. Though the ukulele is most commonly linked with Hawaii, the instrument was derived from two different Portuguese instruments, the briguinha and the cavaquinho. With new strings, the ukulele will not hold a tune for more than a few seconds because the strings require up to two weeks to stretch out. So, if you should ever play out of tune, just blame it on the strings. Good to know. In the film Fifty First States, actor Adam Sandler played a custom six string Kamaka ukulele designed to his specifications. Neat. The instrument appears in the movie's official poster and on the cover of the DVD and soundtrack. Although, the ukulele was digitally modified to resemble a four string. Hmm, okay. The late musician George Harrison, who was known primarily as a guitarist, was a huge fan of the ukulele and would take one wherever he went. According to a story in Maui, Harrison bought out all the ukuleles in stock to give as gifts to friends. Cool. Okay, and that does it for today's useless facts. Tomorrow's useless facts are going to be on United Nations. Talk about useless. Okay, so I was going to do this, so here we go. Second attempt at reintroducing the energy drink component into Four Loco. Last time I tried this, I used a fruit punch flavored energy drink and Four Loco. That this tasted absolutely horrible. I'm hoping this time, lemonade, lemonade. Hoping this would be a better mix. If not, yeah, I'm just going to stay away from Four Loco from now on. Okay, so here we go. Four Loco and uh, lemonade energy drink. Let's mix. Like up to there. Actually, I wonder what this tastes like without the energy drink. It smells kind of like a Mike's hard lemonade. I'm actually kind of hoping it tastes like that too. <clears throat> it does not. Anyway, here goes with the energy drink. Well, oh, that is a completely different color.
looks like P now. That's such a nice light color too. No, it looks like P. Well, no time to complain. Let's taste it. <clears throat> so. It tastes a whole lot better. You know what? That even tastes like a Mike's Heart Lemonade. Awesome! Okay, so, Fruit Punch failed horribly, but Lemonade works perfectly. You know what other flavors they have? Well, if I find any other flavors that uh, have an energy drink counterpart um, or complement I should say I'll give that one a try as well but um, until then I think I'm just going to sign off for today and uh, I don't know enjoy this hmm alright so talk to you guys tomorrow oh one other thing when did the pound sign become hashtag?